Hey guys, Dimix here, and welcome back to Dragon Roll TV. Uh, this is episode 6 of my Karaka Kadrin campaign, playing as the Slayer King Ungrim Iron Fist, and we continue from where we left off last time, which was we had just taken over Zufbar. We had taken it from the last of those green skins, the Bloody Spears, and uh, managed to wipe them out, if I remember correctly. And we're now trying to build a new army over here at Karak Kadrim, because our next plan is to spread west into the horrible vampire lands that you can see before you. Uh, I'm also trying very hard to assassinate an undead person for this quest, the Slayer Crown. So let's start off by doing that. Let's try to assassinate this fella here. And we did it! So... Oh, the Slayer Crown. The scout watching Sylvania's borders reports a chance encounter with the terrified Sylvanian peasant who lay hidden and witnessed the passing of a hideous army of the dead. At its head rode two pale figures on dead horses, one in crimson armour, the other robed in black. The armoured figure slapped his mount's neck with a mailed fist and cursed in a voice as cold as death. Weeks of searching the mountains, mountain caves, and still you have failed to find what I desire. If you are wrong about the locations to the northwest, and we should find no dragon's corpses, corpse to serve me into death, I shall feast upon your soul. It seems that the Undead Lord is searching for new materials to for use in his foul necromancy. It would seem that the dead have found at least two possible locations for what they seek and are now moving to claim their vile prize. King Ungrim marches from his hall, shouting for the throng to be assembled. In the meantime, he must decide which of the undead horses, hordes, his scout should track. We shall march north, I reckon. Okay, so we did that. Move any character to the following region. That doesn't look north, that looks west to me, but okay. Any character, so we'll just move our scout to get over there. Let's just send him now. Where is it? Wisemond? Here. Okay. Go there, as quickly as possible. Cool. I'll take a few turns. In the meantime, we have... Oh yes, of course, because that's our Runesmith fellow. So, what we'll do is we'll replace him with a little uh, army of... wouldn't mind some long beards, but I think we'll just get some more warriors. And you can recruit two warriors. Still not sure why I can only recruit two at a time there. Oh yes, we had an earthquake last time or, or something like that and uh, our gold mine got damaged. Upgrade, that's a great upgrade to have, definitely. And then we'll get some... There's the public order. Minus one, so we'll get a beer hall. Make sure there's no public order problems there. Okay, so I think we're going to try and take Oakenhammer next and try and start securing this, this province. So once we go to war with one of these vampires, the other one will, will join them. I think they're defensive allies, pretty sure. <clears throat> Our king have come. Fetch the brewmaster. Fetch the brewmaster. We drink. They, oh, they offer a thousand gold for military access. Yes, indeed. You may. Come, friends. Please come again. Luthor von Diel. Or Diel. Oh, the bloody spears aren't gone. Okay, they're still around. Not near us, though, thankfully. Dwarven Resolve. Good stuff. Ah, you know what? Let's not send our runesmith to Wiseman. Let's send this fella to Wiseman. I didn't realize I had him. You get here. Thank you. And then our runesmith 
can come back to Ingram as quickly as possible, please. And that means we don't need to recruit you. And we'll just we'll just go straight to Oakenhammer, I think. Yes, because that is very well defended. Yep. Let's do it. No time to waste. That was an easy one. We'll occupy that. And I think from there we have quite a nice staging point to continue branching out into the Vampire Lands. I'm hoping that they'll come and attack me. Uh, you guys continue to recruit. Let's recruit some more quarrelers. Quar Pardon my French. Uh, <clears throat> and that is everything for this turn. Keep upgrading our Slayer King. Blade Master, I think. And next we're going to go to Karag Dromar, but I expect them to react now that we're at war with them, so let's see what they do. Not the reaction I was expecting. Um, you could maybe start pushing in from the north as well and take Walden off. They did have a big army previously, but I wonder if it got committed over in the west, where they're inevitably at war with humans. Shameful display, a close ally of ours, an influential Dowie, sitting on a several guild councils, has shamed his family name with a craven act. He should by all accounts take the Slayer Oath and go into exile, but we will lose his influence. Let's forbid him from taking the oath. I'd rather keep our relationships good and our public order is not something we need to worry about right now, so we'll do that. Definitely upgrade our gold mine. Without question, that's the best thing to do there. And I'm not sure if I could take Castle Drakenhof, because it is very well defended. With decent units too, lots of Grave Guard, Bargeists. The Slayer in me seeks death. Part of me is tempted to try though. To war. Uh, try and win her before you come back. Oh, we can't afford it. Okay, just come back then. An accord bound by runic law. Very well. This may work. You can't reach across there, so. Aye, but the axe of Dargo demands blood. Hmm. Castle Drakenhof is proving problematic. What I'll do is I'll keep Summon me if you recruiting from here. And I'll try and lure them away from this by attacking up north as well. And if that doesn't get a reaction, then uh, by the time we'll take Esh we'll take Walden off the nation, and then uh, if they still haven't reacted, then we'll just attack with both armies from both sides, and that'll definitely be enough. So a lot of turn passing this episode. I'm sorry, it needs to be done.
The Pillars of Grungni. It's a great name. Oh, here comes Melissa. Failing to damage my buildings. Good stuff. Damage building failure. Good stuff. Okay. What can we do now? I grow restless. Me too, buddy. Me too. Can we reach over there? Oh, you can. You can get over here. Okay. But if I leave, he's undoubtedly going to attack me with this guy. So I can't do that quite yet. How much does this cost? Oh, I'd rather upgrade the army for now. Which is taking ages because of how only being able to build two things per turn. Let's do that. Change it next turn and hopefully we'll get this army built a lot faster. Let's see if we could set up an ambush for this fella. That wouldn't be too bad an idea. Ambush chance 50%. Yes, my oath is intact. Well, he's not going to attack Ziffbar. Because he's only got five units. So let's go here. I must fulfill my and set up an ambush. Oath. See if that works. Might work, might not. Ready. Worth a try. Cun Gunnison, heading to Weissman, I think it was called. Is it called Weissman? Weismund. Burnoth Grundada at the track. Oh, he's been fooled. Here we go. What on earth happened there? Oh. My ambush was foiled. I don't understand what happened. So he came over. I have no idea what happened there. That was strange. thought it worked there for a second. I was quite excited. I thought that worked. Disappointing. Disappointing. Oh, uh, no, do nothing because I need to buy units. War Forever is not going to do me anything when I don't have an, ar an army. Okay, now we can recruit three. That's going to help. Let's speed up the recruitment a little bit. Let's get... Uh, I think two long beards is enough. So let's get some more warriors, more quarrelers. That's us 14, so two more turns after that. And we've got, oh, here we are. This is what I was waiting on. Let's pop you back in ambush then, see if it works this time. You can try and win turret, might as well. Nope. And no gold left to upgrade anything. Upgrade his wind capacity, see if he can do it next turn maybe and uh, that's it I'll pass my turn will the AI be fooled twice well I'm not sure if he was fooled the first time because the ambush failed but will he be fooled once <laughs> by the same trick that's all you need to find out Thor Grim Grudge Bearer.
Okay, I'm in ambush dance, surely. What, what, what is happening there? I really don't know. Can he make it all the way down, can he? Oh lord. Oh, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. That's nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay. We should have this. I'm quite confident we have this. Good, getting a good fight. I was worried we wouldn't get one this episode, so that's good. And it's a bridge... Mm, not sure that I'm happy that it's a bridge battle. Because I like getting my slayers run behind them. Try and force them onto one bridge. Box them in. Let's pop the miners in there as well. Well, the reinforcements are coming from up there, so I imagine that's the bridge they're going to want to fight on. Let's put three units at the front, and then further two units ready to support them. Miners here. On put my gunners on two first here. Slayers on three, four, and miners on five. Slayers. Ingram can go with them. And we have reinforcements coming in too. Okay. Let's just speed it up. They're probably gonna unite with their reinforcements first, aren't they? Okay. Let's swap that because those bats are coming over the left and it'd be good to just shoot them down. Let's get them here as quickly as possible. Looks like they're liking the left bridge though, so let's guard that. Let's get these miners over there as well. Oh, there's Manfred. Flying about. What is he up to? Coming into range, that's what he's doing. Strange tactic by the uh, AI here. Sending their bats in to die for no reason, but fair enough. Get in Manfred there. Ho 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 ho! You guys get there. Oh, he's getting battered. Oh yes! The zombies are not going to save you, Manfred. I'm afraid that is you. Yes! Well, that was some silly play by the AI, but it's benefited us, so that's good. Uh, and now we have Graveguard just engaging our miners who are armor piercing, so that's good. Let's get them around the back. Try and engage these guys from the front. Okay. Ready axes. 
Guard mode. Yep. Cool. Okay, this is going really well. I don't think the uh, AI has quite got to grips with these uh, bridge battles. Send you guys to back them up as well. Let's hit those black knights, they're the dangerous ones. Back them up with the miners. What's going on here? Oh dear. Poor fellow got his head chopped off. I thought the Slayers would chop them off a bit better than they are, if I'm honest. Got some good flanks around there. Good, their Black Knights are getting annihilated. Oh, I'm getting hurt. What am I getting hurt by? Ah, another. there's another Lord here. I didn't realise. Let's... Let's focus on the Lord. Vampires without their Lords are nothing. That's what I like to see. Quickly evening that out. Should win that fight, I think. Move to attack. Almost got him. Let's curse this banshee. Counting on you. Bring him down. Come on, one more good hit. He's dead as well. Good stuff. The Banshee next, and we should have them. Oh, and a Necromancer. Wow, we. Surely there's a lot of them. Okay, on this flank. Okay, it's getting to the point now where I might need to pull Ingram out. <laughs> Come on, just get rid of this Banshee. And then Ingram's gonna have to pull back a little bit, I think. Because he's really taking a beating. Three heroes is maybe just too much for him. Come on, she's almost dead. Yes, okay. Finish this wizard off and we're done. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> Let's pull Ungram out. Just make sure he doesn't die. He's done what he needs to. Five grave guard left. One left, there we go. Okay. Stay there, miners. Giant slayers into the side of them. Let's keep that fight going. This fight is easily won, I think. Send these miners in. Okay, chop them to bits. Indeed. Good stuff, they're crumbling. Uh, let's take out the Great Guard with great weapons. Anyone who still has arrows. If you don't have arrows, just chill out over here. Have we won this yet? Come on, we need to win this. As soon as we win this, we can do an almighty flank if it's necessary, which it might be. It is looking like it's in our favor, but not entirely.
I hope that's true. Sure. Get everyone. No. There. And then there, please. Who did we lose? We lost someone. Someone's rallying. Good stuff. Get back in there. Okay, let's get Ingram back in against these skeleton warriors. He can do something useful, I think. Good job against those Grave Guard with great weapons. And we're all but out of ammunition for everyone else. These guys are holding on really, really long. Ah, oh, there we go. They're crumbling. Okay, I think it's too late now. I think we've won. We have won. Okay, good stuff. Wow, we. What a battle. Close victory. I don't know about close. I think we had it the whole time, but definitely a, uh, a lot of casualties. That's for sure. And we've wiped out all his armies, I think, which is awesome. That's a massive blow to them. That was without our Rinsmith as well, I just realized. We would have been a massive help in that in that fight. Uh, we will execute the captives. That was a really strong victory. Very happy with that. Still not quite sure what's happened with the ambushing. <laughs> I don't know why uh, he's in ambush stance and the guy gets to just walk up and walk away again. Perhaps that's some sort of trait that those vampire lords have. I don't know. Uh, it's really confusing me. Uh, ambush foiled. Good stuff. All good stuff. Okay. Right. Uh, let me... Have a look at what's going on here. Let's try and wind her again. Yes, finally. Well done. And we have also managed to get deadly onslaught, which is very nice. And I could either upgrade Oaken Hammer, but I think what I'll do is continue doing this instead. I'd really like to get this army completed, so... We'll get, uh, I'm just going to make an absolute bog standard, so we're going to go for, I'll take one more long beard. And, yeah, that looks good to me. That looks very good. Who's left? You get inside Oakenharm, uh, Oakenhammer, sorry. Uh, and then we'll pass our turn there. Might think about forging something soon as well. Wouldn't be a bad idea, although... I really just need to complete my quests to get my weapons and then Ingram's just going to be unstoppable. He's already wiping out heroes and just chunking them, but when he has his Axe of Dargo, he's going to just cut through them like butter. Like a hot knife through butter. College of Pyrotechnics. <laughs> Success. Okay. Win the following battle with Ungrim's army. Enemy forces. 
Good, and then we will have the Axe of Dargo. No, we will have the Slayer Crown. Well, that's still excellent. Armor, win three battles against the Greenskin Tribes. Could have done with that earlier, to be honest. But that's fine. Uh, okay, we'll send you back and... Uh, you know what? That is where I'm going to leave this episode. I was going to take the turn, but I think it's better to, to start with the turn than end with the turn. <laughs> so I'll end it there, guys. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you did like it. Uh, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.